Hi, everybody. Uh, it is March 21, 2019. I want to thank my subscribers for passing along some of these articles to me, uh, sharing them with me, which I now want to share with you. And you know what? I'm going to try very hard not to give you my opinion, because I think you know what my opinion is. But on the heels of the video that I posted, um, was it late last night or, or today? I can't even remember. Texas, Texas, the law, a death panel, nameless, uh, faceless people meet to decide whether or not you're going to live or die when you go into a hospital in Texas. Arganville will allow starving mentally ill patients to death. A bill that will allow starving people to death. Now, Oregon is the first state in the nation to legalize assisted suicide. Well, now they're pushing legislation that will allow starving people to death. The bill would remove current safeguards that protect conscious patients' access to ordinary food and water when they no longer have the ability to make decisions about their own care. Elderly with dementia. Uh, we have now people being diagnosed with dementia at very young ages. How could we possibly think our country is anything but healthy? I mean, ha oh, uh, evil. No. All right, I told you I wasn't going to give you my opinion. Oregon, they're forecasting for your summer, a dry summer, which spells trouble for you, fires. Interesting that they can forecast months and months and months ahead. How do they do that? Well, they must know that it's going to be a dry summer. When man controls the weather, they know. Monsanto asks Trump EPA to okay drift-prone pesticide on 90 million acres of corn. And I posted today a video on the pesticide use. Our produce saturated with pesticides. Top on the list, strawberries, spinach, kale, so here, this posted today, dicamba, produced by Monsanto, uh, which is now owned by Bayer, drift from dicamba sprayed on cotton and soybean fields has already damaged an estimated 5 million acres of crops, trees, backyard, gardens over the past three years. Now Monsanto has applied for expanded use. And do you think the EPA is going to say no? I believe the EPA is going to say go for it. Nathan Donnelly, Donnelly, a senior scientist with the Center for Biological Diversity, said this, use of this dangerous uncontrollable toxin should be banned, not expanded, with millions of acres of crops, orchards, and natural areas already harmed by this volatile herbicide, Trump's EPA should reject Monsanto's self-serving request to dramatically escalate its use. Highly toxic dicamba products are designed for use primarily on crops genetically engineered to resist what would normally be a fatal dose of the pesticide. The EPA has already approved dicamba for use on genetically engineered soybeans and cotton. In 2016, the U.S. Department of Agriculture approved corn crops genetically engineered to survive dicamba. Do you hear what I'm reading? This is our food. So uh, we have pesticides that just ordinary 
crops would not be able to survive. So the genetic, genetically engineered crops can survive. Do you, do you, okay, what should you be thinking right now? Okay, something's very wrong with that. Our produce now, genetically engineered, can survive incredibly toxic pesticide use that goes on the crops and then on to your table. So the pesticide use decades ago for those crops were not as, they were toxic, but not as toxic as the pesticides that they are using now because of the genetically engineered food. You hear nothing from most Americans. Oh well, we're being poisoned. So what? Even after the EPA, um, wait, 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 here, sorry. So today's application seeks approval from the EPA to spray dicamba on genetically engineered corn. It also aims to establish legally permissible levels of the pesticide in food that people eat. Did you hear that? Okay, uh, there are no permissible levels. How could we even have an EPA that determines permissible levels of pesticide in food that we eat? How could we possibly think that's an agency that protects us? Okay, even after the EPA increased training for dicamba users, drift from this poison has killed 100-year-old oak trees, withered backyard vegetable patches, and entire fields of non-GE crops. Don Donnelly said this, carelessly expanding dicamba use will spread its harm across the American heartland. It will also imperil wildlife, kill off 60 million acres of the monarch butterfly. It will poison more and more of our foods that are already toxic. But hey, Trump's going to make America great again. New Jersey governor signs rain tax bill. Rain tax bill. Residents can now be taxed when it rains on their property. Okay, we're taxed up the wazoo. These, uh, well, a lot of people call them government officials. I call them criminals. And government is really just mafia. Uh, looking for more and more ways to steal money from those they call their, you know, constituents, the, the residents, you know. And, well, the majority of American Americans let them do it. Yeah, most corrupt and vile things to have ever happened in the American political system, taxation itself. But residents of New Jersey will now be taxed when something 100% out of their control happens. Phil Murphy, the governor of New Jersey, signed 19 bills into law on Monday, one of which is called the rain tax. Yeah, they call it flood defense. They say it will serve as a long needed tool to manage flooding and dirty runoff from rainwater. Um, nothing is more disturbing <laughs> than our government, federal, state, and local. It is downright horrifying. So here is what um, New Jersey's futures Chris Str Strum, um, who serves as the advocacy group's managing director for policy and water, um, he says, most importantly, it gives communities a way to access new resources in a fair and equitable manner and invest in related benefits, such as additional green space. Years and years and years ago, when we were 
posting on Agenda 21 and then Agenda 2030, we were all saying, we are paying for the reshaping of our communities and to have every aspect of our life controlled. And how do they do that? How do we pay that? How do they get us to pay? They create all of these taxes. Rain tax. Well, I looked into it. I just wanted to see um, how many states had a rain tax. Storm sewer maintenance bill or rain tax. Illinois lawmakers debate. This was posted 13 hours ago. So it's not just New Jersey. Other states, Illinois, you may get another tax. Rain. Um, Maryland. When it rains, it pours tax dollars in Maryland. Okay, in 2014, Maryland had a rain tax. It might have been repealed, I'm not sure. Rain tax passed by the state legislature and signed into law. No, 2012, sorry. It was in response to a 2010 Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, mandate aimed towards reducing the pollution levels in the Cheapskate uh, Bay what exactly is a rain tax? Who must pay it? Okay, the tax is an annual fee on, this is for Maryland, the tax was an annual fee on impervious surfaces such as roofs. <laughs> a roof, wow, driveways, sidewalks, garages, and any other surface that could create drainage problems and water contamination situated on property owned by an individual or business. Only nine counties, apparently, um, and the city of Baltimore, out of the 24 total counties in Maryland, had this rain tax um, they were responsible not only for paying this fee, but their local officials must determine and set the dollar amount their con constituents will pay. So your local officials determine how much you'll pay. Now again, this was in Maryland. It may have been repealed, so I apologize for speaking in the present tense. But Illinois getting ready to pass a rain tax, uh, rain tax in New Jersey, um, passing it already. Well, yeah. Uh, um, all right. Charles County levies a flat fee of $43 per property. Montgomery County, they had fee rates ranging from $29 and 17 cents to $265.20 depending on the size of impervious surfaces. And no tax would be complete without government agencies such as the Department of Navy that own land with impervious surfaces resisting and declining to pay. But you have to pay middle-class families, business owners, stuck paying for a multi-billion dollar EPA program, no other state bordering the Chiefs, um, Chesapeake, Jesus, did I say Cheapskate? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Don't know what the hell is going on with me. Uh, Chesapeake Bay. Do you see how unbelievably screwed you are time and time again, and Americans do nothing, funding stormwater programs. This is the EPA program, the construction, operation, and maintenance of a municipal separate storm sewer system can involve significant, significant expense, especially when regulatory requirements, uh, flooding concerns, 
water quality issues, and population growth are factored in. So this is for local governments. How are you going to implement your storm water program, property taxes, general fund, service fees, yada, yada, yada. Environmental tax shifting. So, um, many people have talked about eventually we will be taxed on the air we breathe. It's coming. Oh, that's the green way, right? California tax on drinking water. How is it that Americans have become so scared that they just put up with being so unbelievably, well, don't want to uh, curse, but you sure do know how to take it up the rear end and then walk around with this arrogant posture like you're not taking it up the rear end. ICE reportedly dropped three busloads of illegal aliens at a Greyhound station as churches scramble to provide shelter. Yeah, Phoenix. So ICE is dropping illegal aliens by the busloads and churches scramble to provide shelter. Now, have you ever seen a headline? Churches scramble to provide shelter for their own, you know, the legal citizens, the Americans who are homeless. No. But they're going to scramble to provide shelter for illegal aliens. Look, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Um, what I am saying is we don't see anybody really scrambling to provide shelter for the increasing number of Americans going homeless. We don't help our own. All links are below.